What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now today we're going to go ahead and discuss Battlefield 2042. I actually saw something over on Reddit that I thought was pretty darn interesting that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. But before we go ahead and get into today's topic, I do want to let you guys know if you want to check out any of my other socials besides the YouTube channel, I do live stream pretty much every single day over on Twitch and I also have a Twitter account and a Discord channel as well. If you guys want to keep in contact with me, you know, hit me in the DMs over on Twitter that are always open or even catch me live stream some video games. Usually we are live for about three to four hours in between sessions and just playing any games coming up with topics coming up with ideas and just chatting it up it's always an absolute blast but if you guys want to check out any of these things the links to all of them are down in the description now ladies and gentlemen as we all know when it comes to battlefield 2042 the game was on a massive decline i mean you couldn't even find a singular day where this game was going to pop off in any way shape or form pretty much after launch of battlefield 2042 everybody left and went to any other title in the franchise battlefield 5 battlefield 1 battlefield 4 even battlefield 3 shoot go back to bad company 2 there are still tons of players playing that game overplaying Battlefield 2042. But as we all know, Season 1 just recently released, and as expected, the game saw a massive surge of players. I believe it saw a 184% increase of players. And again, a lot of people are hyping this up. Tons of people are saying, oh, finally, Battlefield 2042 is back alive. This you know, new increased player count means that Battlefield 2042 is a good game now. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but that is not the case, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit later in this video. But just because they release new content and people want to play the new content doesn't mean the game is going to be thriving on much longer. I guarantee you that within the next upcoming one to two months, I don't even want to say two months, I guarantee in one month or less, the player count is going to dwindle by numbers that you have not even seen before. But ladies and gentlemen, I pretty much skipped over the Reddit post here because it was based on a real tweet by WarlustGG, and he went ahead and said, yes, we know, it's not the whole picture, but it tells a story. 2042 is sliding off again on Steam. Maybe more content would keep it going. Funny how all the content is done for Battlefield 5 and it rides higher on here. Interesting stuff. I gotta completely agree with Warlust here. And he also goes ahead and shows the player counts on his own end, showcasing Battlefield 2042 at a whopping 5,600 players in game. And then obviously showcasing Battlefield 5 at the same exact moment with a whopping 10,133 players playing it currently right now. And of course, I wanted to go ahead and back test this because I don't know how old this information is or when this was. So I went ahead and logged in what's today's date the 25th of june so just keep that in mind i'm currently looking at these stats that you're going to be looking at the 25th of june and we are still just around 8948 players playing about an hour ago the peak is still still under 10 thousand individuals and then of course my stats my personal stats on the 25th of june for battlefield 5 is playing an hour ago 15 thousand players keep in mind i am making this video at 10 a.m in the morning on the 25th this is claiming an hour ago so at nine in the morning there were 15 thousand individuals playing battlefield 5 yes it is a saturday makes sense it's the weekend but still man that's an absurd amount of players and as you can see on the trend line it is so consistent when it comes to battlefield 5 every single day it hits the same peak honestly it's actually slowly but surely making higher highs and higher lows which is obviously a very positive sign when it comes to the player base within battlefield 5 and if i go ahead and flash back to the battlefield 2042 stats right here you can see that yeah it had a little bit of a surge when it came to you know the obviously the seasonal content and stuff like that but over time you could 110 percent tell i mean unless you're blind that it's making lower highs and lower lows which is an indication that the players who are going into the content update are not returning. Which means, yeah, you're still going to get those peaks. There's still going to be people that are coming in to try out the new content. You know, people who can't play it on day one, who have to slowly get into it. Yeah, it's still going to get those players. But it's a proof of concept that the people who have already played the new season who have already come back to try the game are not sticking around to try it any further and this right here absolutely blows my mind because battlefield 5 i think the whole community can kind of agree on this is probably the worst battlefield game ever made it's right next or could be equally compared to with hatred to hardline hardline was probably the most hated battlefield game until battlefield 5 came out and just completely topped it so to see the stats of battlefield 5 absolutely destroying 2042 and absolutely every way not only with consistently bringing in you know hourly high player counts but every day reaching almost the same identical peak and actually surpassing that peak on a daily as well compared to 2042 where they did hit a peak when the content drop came out but every single week that goes by it decreases more and more and more and more still hitting some peak moments but nothing compared to the beginning battlefield 5 was the worst battlefield game 
we have ever touched. It is a World War II game as well, something that the community has been trying to stray away for a long time now. You know, when we had to go through Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 back to back, it was just absolute pure chaos. And I believe that's one of the main reasons why Battlefield 5 got a ton of bad rep, because nobody wanted another classic war experience. We already had to deal with Battlefield 1 for multiple years, and then we came in with Battlefield 5 for multiple years that didn't even cover the complete World War II story, which was kind of a massive disappointment. A lot of people wanted modern day or near futuristic. 2042 was exactly what people wanted. That's why the trailers popped off. That's why the marketing popped off. That's why everything went absolutely berserk. That's why Battlefield 2042, despite the horrible player count, still got a massive, massive amount of income from just initial sales because they finessed the community with something that we all wanted to see, a modern-day, near-futuristic Battlefield title. And still to this day, people are choosing to go back to World War II. Like I said, keep in mind, we've been going four, almost five years, six years of World War II, World War I experiences and people are still willing to go back to that old school classic vibe over just playing 2042 and sucking it up and dealing with it. And something that Warlust actually pointed out here that I think is absolutely genius is the fact that Battlefield 5 is already done with all of its content. They stopped production for this game ages ago. It's not getting anything new. It's not getting any new updates. It's not getting any performance updates. It's just simply the game that they left off with before they ditched it nothing crazy. But Battlefield 2042 is a fresh game with fresh content, fresh weapons, fresh everything, yet it still can't get more players coming into the experience. People would rather play something that's been out for ages now with nothing new in it than play, you know, a fresh seasonal update with a battle pass, a new map, a couple of weapons and stuff like that, and a brand new Battlefield experience. That should say enough to you. And also, keep in mind that Battlefield 5, I think a lot of people feel this way as well, not just me, at least with the people that I've talked to. I'm not talking for everyone, of course. I know people enjoy the content in Battlefield 5, and some people actually really love Battlefield 5, and I'm not talking any crap to you whatsoever. Everybody's obligated to their own opinion. But I think the most popular part about Battlefield 5, at least for me, was the Pacific update. Everything else about Battlefield 5 just absolutely sucked. I mean, the Pacific update, every time I log into Battlefield 5, that's the only thing I end up playing. So, <laughs> keep this in mind. People would rather only play one segment of Battlefield 5, not the whole experience. They would rather play one segment, a tiny portion of Battlefield 5, over playing the full portion, the full game of Battlefield 2042. Let that soak in. Let that, let that sink into your brain there. And I already know there's going to be tons of people in the comment section saying, well, this is only Steam. What about Origins? What about Console? Last Gen? Next Gen? What about all of those player counts? Well, I have a question for you. Why won't DICE or EA show us the player counts of the game then? If they're so confident, if they are so, you know, proud of their title and they know for a fact that there's tons of people playing it, why won't they show us? Why won't they let us know how many players are playing this game? Why won't they add in a server browser so we can see with our own eyes how populated the game is without having to go through a quick play browser? Why? Steam charts are a magical thing in my personal opinion, and even though people don't like to go ahead and use it as a overall, you know, image of what the player base is looking like, I personally think it is a fantastic way to show if a game is either popular or not popular. And by just simply looking at the Steam charts of which Battlefield game is more popular, <laughs> you know, Battlefield 5, which is already one of the worst games in the franchise, I think that alone already proves that the player count is pretty bad when it comes to Battlefield 2042. That, and I can barely even find a game when it comes to loading into this. I don't know if it's just my PC, maybe it's just my experience, maybe, my, maybe it's my watch. Wi-Fi, I'm connected with the LAN cable, I don't know, uh, maybe it's just my problem, but <laughs> I mean, come on now, this game is pretty darn rough. And honestly, what do we expect? They released one map. It's no possible way that this update would have lasted any more than a couple of weeks. I called this before. I, you know, I gave the praise that the update deserved. I gave Dice, you know, credit because obviously this is probably the best map that they've made in a long time. But you can't get over the fact that there's no content. Eight plus months for what they released to us is completely unacceptable. We should have had two to three more weapons. We should have had at least two more maps within the rotation alongside the new map exposure that we just got as well. There should have been tons of stuff for us to play through. Eight months is way too long in the cycle. And now they expect us to actually sit here and play the same new map over and over and over again for four to five months? Are you joking? Do you think that's actually going to happen? No, not even in the slightest. If people couldn't even comprehend and play the core game itself, what makes you think one map is going to make an overall difference in your player count? Dice, I, I don't know what your whole goal is here with Battlefield 2042. You guys keep continuously lying to us. I mean, you just posted out a blog post saying how your whole team is still working on Battlefield 2042 and you guys are extremely dedicated to the project and everything like that. Well, if you're dedicated to the project, why aren't you supporting it correctly? If you actually had a passion for this game, you would know that such a lackluster update would completely kill off your player base. You know this. You're, we're all human beings here. We all have brains. We can all think. 
This is just logical. It's how things work in the real world. If you cared, this wouldn't be a situation right now. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this commentary off here. If you have any opinions, leave them all down in the comment section. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If almost I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with us, do, do so on Twitter and Discord. Build link down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams of video games, do it on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.